They don't like thinking. I want to thank God for this seed. There is one I gave there for the revelation I'm about to preach. Revelation. It is a privilege of my life to preach that revelation. And I, I want to say that I, I, I didn't learn that revelation. And because I didn't learn that revelation, it cannot be said by another man, both dead, living, and those in heaven. It's not possible. And I'm not going to be taking your time. It's uh, apocalypse combined with eschatology. That is um, revelation combined with the event of the end. But I want to talk to intelligent men all over the world. I also want to talk to the, to the dead. I also want to talk to those who are in heaven. Because what I'm about to preach is also a mystery to those who are in heaven. The realm of infinite knowing is not yet existing. It's not yet existing. The, the realm of infinite knowing. So if you hear that any spirit anywhere in eternity, in all realms, know that, that there is something God is hiding. Let me say it again. Spirit in all realms know that there are things God is hiding. So, spirits in all realms are waiting to hear something God is hiding. You know, if you are not who you are yet, or the miracle God promised you has not happened, I would like you to know that there is something God is hiding from you. So I am thinking instead of hushing God to do miracle for you urgently, I would like you to find out thing God is hiding from you that have limited you. The, the life of men is brought to limitation. When God hides from them things they are meant to know, it becomes precarious when men who are made limited by things they're supposed to know don't care about what is limiting them. But desire to know is still a capacity. Desire to know is a capacity. It's a mental, it's a mental hooginess. It, it has to be very elephantic. You know, it's something that is infinite in expansion. If you are broad in maturity, I mean dealing with the unknowns. Now, no matter the argument of illiteracy, nothing will stop me from unveiling the unknowns. You know, a, a poor man is an illiterate. Another way to spell poverty is from I. That is illiteracy. I say uh, another way. If you don't want to spell poverty from P, you spell it from I. That is illiteracy. Yes. You know, when people are poor and they say they know they are deceived huh? everything that is important to God is hidden in light but there are different lights I said there are and why some people don't meddle with light is because light is expensive there are two things about luminary bodies they burn continuously. <laughs> now, they burn continuously to declare relevance. 
I mean, light producing bodies, they do what? To produce, yes, to produce relevance. And they are far away. That is why poor men and rich men are not always friends. The sun cannot be producing light and, and still be with us. Otherwise, we will all die. So he stays far away and gives us a chunk of what we need so that we can worship that element. So all luminary bodies are not here in this prayer. They are in the sovereign areas. You know, the earth is not sovereign because it's a beggar. The, earth, the life of the earth is made subject to the sovereignty of the luminary bodies. So the, the earth wait for the sun to rise. Otherwise, it will, not, it will not have life. Otherwise, it will not, it will not have life. So four o'clock, you are there until light shows up. And then you know that the day has come. The day, it is not God that declared the day. It is an ability in a luminary body. Maybe I should say this. Huh? No, 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 no. Your village is not waiting for God. Your family is not waiting for God. That problem that is around, is not God that will solve it. It is men that have capacity. Men with capacity to solve it is not God. Don't wait for God. He will not solve it anytime. So I want to thank God because of two, two things are here, thanksgiving and a request. A dumb request. Something that I don't want to tell anybody. I would like you to talk to God in a minute before you sit down. And ask him to give you intelligence. Calvary. Will you spare Calvary? Calvary. See every Will you spare you to speak to us and give us abundance of miracles. Jesus, Mary, name. You may be seated. You are appreciated. Help me tell somebody you are appreciated coming to church. Tell another person, I, I like your face. Praise God. There is something about your face. Amen. Those who are ugly, they don't come to our church. This is a heavenly church. No, no, ugly, ugly people are not members of the church. I know their church. <laughs> and you know, if you smile, you'll be more beautiful. You know, those of us that are fine, you know, there is a way we smile. <laughs> We just benefit. We just benefit from smiling. <laughs> we know how to benefit. You know, we we'll make profit smiling. God, God has already blessed our face. You know, it is people who their face is somehow that is struggling with smiling. <laughs> This morning, I want to talk about the book that Jesus gave his minister. Please, l let me say before time that um, I I'm going to go deep in the baptism. 
uh, um, something, I, what I mean is mysteries. Luke chapter 4 from 16. Luke chapter 4. I, I would like all mothers and those who like their future to listen. I would like all fathers to listen. Why you must listen is because life involves taking decisions. In Luke chapter 4, verse 16, somebody help us read Luke 4, 16. The Bible says, and then he came to Nazareth. Where he had been brought up. He, he came to where he has been brought up. And as his custom was, he uh, went. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And stood up for to read. There is something that I want a woman, a mother to listen to. There is, there is no important destiny that doesn't involve a school system. The essence of, the le of, of learning is to protect the mind so that the God can give destiny through the mind. So the Bible, the Bible says concerning Jesus, his custom is always reading. I'm not the one that wrote it. He said in the, in the step of the brought up, his custom was go to synagogue, read. He's there now. He's always going to synagogue to read. In 24, don't, uh, don't, don't, turn this, don't turn this one away. In 24, 27 of, of Luke, the Bible says he went to where it was written concerning him. Maybe we should look at it before I continue with this. In, in Luke 24, he said, beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he has expanded, expanded unto them in all scriptures, the things concerning him. Himself. So he knows how to go to the law. He knows how to go to the prophet. And then he searches to find out things that concern him. So that is what he also did in the book of Luke when he went to synagogue. But I want us to look at the synagogue encounter in verse 17. The Bible says it was a custom. Please, can you say praise God? Praise God. I want to ask you a question. Your destiny is in your custom. Custom means what you do regularly. Out of the 24 hours in a day, what do you do regularly? Like 18 hours. God will forge your destiny from it. We call it custom. That is mode of brought up. When you go to a village and people are in pain or in a nation like Nigeria and they are African nations and it is not being cared for, people become chaotic. People. People become chaotic. Destiny cannot be definite. Because definite, destiny is made definite by custom. The custom that embodies, brought up, something that represents how you grew up. Now, if you look at verse number, verse number 17, beautiful scripture in verse 17, I say, and they, was delivered and they, they were him. delivered unto him the book of Isaiah. When he got there to read that, that particular synagogue there, they gave him Isaiah. They gave him I mean, you know, they gave him manuscript of Isaiah. They gave him the book of the whole of Isaiah. And the Bible says when he opened the book, he found the place it was written. Listen, they didn't tell Jesus where to read in Isaiah. They, they didn't tell Jesus where to read. They gave him Isaiah and asked him to read. And Jesus went direct because that day was a Messianic day. That day also was his day. He went to where it was in the Messianism of the suffering servant and opened the Messianic book that concerned him. Because Jesus is an expert in minding things that concern him. Now, look at 18. He, then he started reading. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yes. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, 
to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. And then number 19, he started reading Messianism. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now, finally number 19, where I took the message from. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the ministers and sat, sat down. And the eyes of all them that we, we are in the synagogue were fastened on him. Now, the Bible says he went there and took that book and they took the Messianic book of Isaiah, chapter 61, that's supposed to be one to be one to four. One to four. And when he read one and read two A, he closed it and then gave it. Now Jesus stopped at two A because that is where the Messianism. He came to fulfill, stopped. Anybody can be rich. Anybody can be great. It's just learning. Jesus know where to stop and when to stop. He stopped that book in 2a and then gave the other 2b to 4 that doesn't concern him to somebody it concerns the bible didn't tell us who the minister is so i am thinking that that minister is me i am also thinking that that minister is still you But it, it, it cannot be you until you know it is you. Why I think it is me? Because I know it is me. It is not God that told me that it is me. It's me that know. Some of us are waiting for God to tell us things we should know. Before I go to the issue of book, if you're a pastor and you're looking at me or you're a businessman and you're looking at me and your business didn't connect you to book, you're joking. You're just joking around. If you are walking and your walk doesn't connect you to book, you're joking around. You're just playing with your life. If you are from a village and that village is not connected to a book, that village doesn't exist. All powerful spirits know the power of books. I'm going to go more into books and then you will know you will know that a, a life that is not guided is a life that is lost please listen please listen don't look for money if you are not guided a rich man went to watch Super Bowl and died in plane crash <laughs> and somebody says a big man you don't know big man if that man is a big man he will not die in a cheap way you, you don't go to where you are not needed you don't if you are a big man you will know your part There is no death in the path of life. So, if you have life, you will know the path where the life is given to you. If you are a rich man, you should know the path where the money came into your hand. Into your hand. If you are having life, if death must not kill you, you must avoid the path that kills men. Excuse me. If you enter into a path of death, 
Satan will not honor your confession. He will believe you, you have decided to lie. You die. And I would like you to listen. Ability to know that the path that kills a man is a gift of God. But God does not hide secrets from seekers. So how did Jesus knew? He knew from study. Isaiah chapter 61, 1 to 4. I want us to see that Isaiah that contain that contain two Messianisms. Two Messianism. A Jewish Messianism and an African Messianism. A lamb Messianism and a lion Messianism. And the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he had anointed me to preach good tidings to unto the meek. He has sent me to bind all the broken hearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Now, number two, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Now, 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 if you look at that scripture, you see Jesus came to to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. But he didn't continue with the day of vengeance of our God. That was a separation. Because the spirit of acceptable year and the spirit of day of vengeance are not, are not, the, are not the same spirit. Did you hear what I said? I said the spirit to, that will proclaim acceptable year and the spirit that will declare the day of vengeance of our God is not the same spirit. The lamb spirit that came with the ideology of grace stopped with proclaim the acceptable year. So he closed the book there and gave it to the minister that will open chapter 1 of that book from the day of vengeance of our God. Now, everything that has to do with the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all the mourn is not yet working. Because the guardian angel of these promises is not yet on earth. The man that took the book hasn't opened the book. So if the book is open, then the day of vengeance will be declared from the book. Now those that mourn in Zion are not yet are not yet comforted. But this morning I am opening the book to declare the day of vengeance of our God. And then to say to those who are mourning in Zion, you shall be comforted. Yeah. Now, listen. Jesus didn't declare it. It is in the closed book. The one that will declare it is the person who took the book. And then I said I am. Is he making you angry? You want to take my phone from me because I said I'm the man? Now, look at number three. He said to appoint to them that mourn in Zion. To, to give to, unto, to, give to beauty, unto them beauty, them for, ashes, beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. For mourning the garment, the garment of prayer for the spirit of heaviness. That they, they that might be called tree of righteousness. righteousness. The planting of the Lord that they might be glorified. Now, these are things that are happening here today. Because the books are has opened. The, the book has the book has opened the book that was given to that minister. Has what? Has opened already. So there will be no ashes in Zion. Because Zion shall be a place of beauty. There will be no mourning in Zion. Because Zion shall be a place of joy. There shall be no heaviness in Zion. Because Zion shall be a place of praise. The local army shall be called trees of righteousness. And today is a day of glorification. I can hear a big amen. Now you have to say amen because the book is already open. In the hand of them. When you hear book open, this is it. It's already open. It's open. So I'm reading out what is there. Because the book has been given to me. Now, 
now look at number four. Number four is saying, if there is no house in your father's house because of wastage, he said, house will come there. He, he said, because he will build the old west. And then he said, and he shall raise former desolation. If people say that you will be nothing, you shall be raised. If you have tried so many things and they are not working, from now, things will start working. I said things will start working because there shall be no more desolation. I didn't hear a big amen. If anything is broken in your life, if you are wounded in any part of your body, the, the Lord is saying that you shall be repaired. I can't hear a big amen. I can't hear a big amen. He said things that are wasted shall be raised. Desolations 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 in families I said desolations where ruins, broken places the Bible said they shall be raised there shall be hope in place of hopelessness why you have to say amen is because that is the content of the book the book in the hand of the minister and now I, I, am, I am already reading it so you need to just say keep saying amen to it it, it now, in Isaiah chapter 58, you may be seated, verse 2. Isaiah started saying, in another version, verse 12, he, he, he said, and he will shall be a repairer. He said, then that of them shall build the old west, and they shall raise up foundations of many generations, and then they shall be called the repairer of bridges, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Now, there is something I would like you to hear. The best two people that live in eternity huh, are just two. The lamb and the lion. And these two have what is called to win messianisms. What I call it? That is Messianism that are two, but they are one. Now the Messiah, the Messianism of the suffering servant, Obara Chineke came to suffer, to fulfill a particular Messianism. Now that Messianism is called Messianism of suffering servant. So he suffered and died because of the nature of that Messianism. Now, why that Messianism took his life by its nature is because it is, it is a Messianism that came to prepare a way for an improved Messianism. So the Messianism of the suffering servant that the Son of God came to accomplish is a preparer of the way to a spiritual Messianism of the sovereign king which God will fulfill by himself as a king. And then the Messianism of the sovereign king is the last Messianism. And the hour of that Messianism is this hour. It's now. It is because of that Messianism that Jesus will take the nature of the Lion of Judah. Now, now this, is a, this is a revelation. The Messianic life and ministry of Jesus Christ was established by a particular book. The Messianism also of the Lion of Judah will also be established by a particular book. Now this, this twin Messianism, they are all there in Isaiah chapter 61, 1 to 4. But in the local synagogue in Nazareth, in the Nazareth synagogue, Jesus read only one part uh, 2,000 years ago and then handed over the part B for the last millennium. Is somebody hearing me? So there are two, there are, I want to go very fast into that messianism. Now, that particular book 
is one book. Huh? Huh? It is one book that contains two messianisms and two different lives. Containing two messianisms and two different lives. Make that book two books. But the book is one book. So I am giving you a chance to call it whatever you like. One book or two books. But me, I know it is one book and two books. So you, what do you think? I said the book is one book huh? with two spirits. The spirit of the lamb which is the spirit of the son of God and the spirit of the lion which is the spirit of the father of all spirits. Now, if let me do exercise. Chapter 5, 1 and 2 of Revelation. I said one book. How many of us have said it's one, one or two? One or two. One book with two spirits. I am going to be explaining on how that one book produced two books for two spirits. You see, there is nobody like you. Nobody will ever be you. The destiny you came to accomplish, God will not give another person. Now that destiny is found in a book. And that book is your book. I said the book is, is your book. Now if you look at Revelation chapter 5, 1 and 2. He said, and I saw in the right hand of him that sat upon a throne written. A book written within and on the back. Sealed with seven seals. That is a book. That is. Now this book is still that book. That book that was handed over. I said it is still, it is still that book. In chapter 10, 1 and 2 of Revelation. I would like us to look at that book. Now, if we look at chapter 5, the Bible says that the lion of Judah died to open the book. He died to open the book. But the Bible didn't tell us, didn't show us that the book is open. But in chapter 10, he said the book is now open. Because the price has been paid. I, I want to tell a young man a secret. And I would like you to appreciate me. Hearing it. When God wants to make you big, make you rich. What God calls blessing. Is teaching you principles that will give you money. If your spirit is big, is big, God will be coming to you in revelation to tell you how you will be rich. Now, God believes he has already given you money after telling you. Maybe somebody didn't hear what I said. Maybe somebody didn't hear what I said. I said, God believes he has given you money, the money, after telling you. You see, because the money is in that secret. Now, if God tell you, if God say, I'm going to make you a billionaire, when he tell you that secret, I want you to know from the book of your life that God will not repeat the secret to another person. And the, the strength of your wealth 
is measured in that secret. Now, if a man is moving up and down or a woman looking for money and God has not told you how you will get it, you have not started living. You are still trying luck and nobody gets rich by trying luck. Nobody gets great by trying things. He has to tell you so that you can bind it in your finger. Somebody says, Shepard, you, 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 you have boldness. I said, there are things that I'm binding. If you look at me now, you will know there is a way I live. There is. When I came here tonight, now in the night, we came early because I wanted to start writing early. I, I made chapter 4 on the book on the speed of light. And the, chapter 4 is God speaks from abundance of light. Speaks from. Then I said, if there is no light, God cannot speak. So if an, a prophet is an illiterate, God does not speak through illiterates. Don't listen to somebody say that that woman I'm around, but God is using her. Run. That that woman no go to school, but God see the user. Operation joke is a lie. Not because the user. God cannot use an illiterate. God cannot speak except light shines. Because the word of God consists in light. There must be a mass of light. It is mass of light that forms God's word. If somebody is seeing vision for you and said she's an illiterate, go and mark that ministry. Started by that illiterate, it will soon end. We don't see prophets where they die anyhow. Huh? Huh? You see, because darkness cannot represent God. Anointing without knowledge will kill a, a, a so called anointed man. I don't want to bother you with that so that you don't think I'm trying to criticize, but I'm not, I'm not here for it. But chapter 10, 1 and 2 of Revelation, I want us to see. Uh, uh, can you look up? Can you look up? If you go to a man's house and the man is a big man, huh? that is representing dominion of riches, and you didn't see book with him, don't worry about the money. The money will go. Which money? Doesn't money doesn't have anything to do with darkness. Which money are you talking? Some of you have you not know happened where people say now nah, money miss road. You've not had it. Huh? Huh? Why do you say why do you, why is it being saying money miss road? You're saying that this guy that money is controlling him. It's another way of saying it's an illiterate. Now, if money misrode into that man's hand, money will still find his way out. Chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. Time is going to warm me quickly. And I saw another. 
I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and, and the rainbow was upon his head. And his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. Now, number two. And he had in his hand a little book open. So it's okay. Why do you want to meddle with a man that doesn't know who he is? You are a young man and you have a wife and, and uh, you want to go far and your secretary is hanging around you calling you dad dad your secretary every, every Monday morning she will say dad Dad, Dad, can I can I can I make tea for you? Dad, this girl, my brother, you come down, you come out, you come from your wife's house with your children. She's asking you for tea by eight o'clock. And since eight o'clock, since ten minutes, she has called your dad twenty times. And you didn't, you didn't suck her and employ a man. You have two wives. <laughs> Women's intelligence is different from men's intelligence. Women are more intelligent than men when it comes to corrupting your heart. They are devoted. Now, why you are answering that? It's because you don't know what is written concerning you. <laughs> In that, if you are here, you are a man, and you are up to 40 years, and you don't have two wives yet, this is hand for you. God has blessed you. Stay, stay where you are. I will give you another hand when it is five years. <laughs> with all those daddy, 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 you're still with your wife. This hand is for you. Two messianism that represent two testament. Number one, New Testament two, and the other one is the third or Zion Testament. Now, write down, please. God believe you have succeeded if you know what your life is all about. And life is like a book, it's open continuously. There is nobody in this hall. Or hearing me online that have ever finished opening the pages of his book so the pages of your book is still opening now these two books contain two thoughts the thought of grace and truth the where jesus read Isaiah chapter 61 1 1 2 a contain ideology of grace and truth 2 b to 4 contain vengeance this book contains two kingdoms. The kingdom, of, the spiritual kingdom of the Lamb and the, the millennial kingdom of the Lion. But they remember that the book is one and two. This two book, this one book that is two, why it has to be two books is because it has the life of the second Adam. And the one that was handed over, that was handed over, has the life of the third Adam. The second Adam is the Lamb of God. The third Adam is the Lion of Judah. The mistake of the church 
is to be saying that the second Adam, the second Adam who handed over the book is also the recipient of the book. No. Jesus handed the book to somebody to complete a messianism. To complete with another life. When, when thought is changed, life differs. The lion cannot think like lamb. Because you cannot use lamb mentality to declare day of vengeance. I said here that the lion of Judah, according to Revelation, shall be a Gentile prophet. Let me go on to something. Let me go on to something. Nothing is as powerful as discovering who you are. And then number two, receive strength to reject who you are not. Let me say again. Nothing is as powerful as knowing who you are from what is written concerning you Huh? And then resist strength to reject who you are not. Now, God believe that he has blessed you when you have strength to reject who you are not. That is why if you are a lady and a man want to marry you, and he's complaining about you early. Refuse him. He's not your husband. Uh, he said, he said, eh, there is a way your weight is. You don't need to do exercise. And I can't want to go. There's a way your weight is. He, he's not your, if he doesn't need that weight, you should live your life alone. Because you cannot change the way you are. Not loving your weight simply means it's not your husband. <laughs> now those that love you, we love things about you. Because that is what they are marrying. They will love things about you. They will love your positivity. They will love, they will love your ability. They will love the way you are. They will connect to it. Now the Bible says concerning Jesus that he knew about himself. Now, why he died is because the Jews didn't believe in him. He, but he triumphed over them. Because it is not what people say about you that should rule you. It's what you know about yourself. When they grab the olive and say, Olive, be our king. Olive say, No. No. I can't be king. I'm not born to be a king. They went to Fig and say, Ah, Fig, you can be a king of the of the trees. And they said, No, 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 no. Now, let me tell you something that happened. Why Jesus was able to win Satan in that argument in Matthew chapter 4. It was, it was all it is written. So both Jesus and Satan were intelligent. And the point of victory for Jesus is understanding who he is. Matthew chapter 4. It is not just about quoting Bible. It's quoting things that concern you. There is nothing on earth that cannot change from the word of God. The word of God that concerns you. The moment that you know that you are born to be immortal, you are born to be 
immortal. You, you don't meddle with sicknesses. Sicknesses might hang around, but you know that it, it is not your destiny to be sick. You might get married and you didn't conceive immediately. That does not mean that something is wrong. But because you are going to give birth to special children. And then when you know that you make effort. You make effort in giving birth to peculiar children. And then you don't worry about the delay. Because the delay is meant to produce special children. That somebody married after you and gave birth to four, five children, six. It, it doesn't still change anything. Because that is not your destiny. Nothing gives people peace like accepting their destiny. What is written concerning you? He said, but it is a discovery. Don't always try to be like other people. Now, to, to get to the top is very easy. After you make effort in the right direction. Can I, say it? Can I say it again? When you discover who you are, then make effort in specific direction. If people see you and they are trying to copy you, don't worry about what they are trying to copy you. If what you are doing is meant for you, you have grace with it. And if they copy it because of you, God will not give them grace and has given you to do it. So eventually, eventually, they will stop on the way. Because they don't have the grace that can make them go with it. Is somebody hearing what I am saying? Now, if because you, you know what is written concerning you. In Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4. Somebody help me. Please, time is going away on me from verse 1. Then was Jesus laid up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. He said, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards hungry and the tempter came. To he him and him. said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Yes. But, but Jesus answered, answered and said, it is written. That is it. When Satan tempted Jesus, Jesus didn't quote the whole Bible because Jesus had knowledge of that particular scripture concerning him. He said it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that come out of the mouth of the Lord. Now, it is because Jesus knew in John 1 14, he is living word. So he knew that men should live by word personally. So what do you know personally? What do you know? I have made over 400 books. Out of my 400 books, about two of the 400, 200 out of the four, con contain a particular scripture continuously. Revelation chapter 21, 3 and 4. Why wouldn't it be there? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 15 to 51. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 1 to 7. 1 to, 1 to 4. Philippians chapter 3, 20 and 21. 1 Timothy chapter 6, 15, and 6, 15 to 16. Scriptures. Word of God that I can never separate my life with from. This night, when I come back, I'm going to write chapter 4 or 5 on introducing God from a particular platform. And I'm going to be writing on introduce God from a, a, a vision of the tabernacle. Then I'm going to go to 21, 3, and 4 of Revelation. Because there are scriptures that cannot be removed from my life. Isaiah chapter 61 2a to 2, 2b to 4 and then Isaiah chapter 63 1 to 6 Revelation chapter 19 11 to 16 and 
many scriptures like that. Excuse me. Do you know why some people are, are poor are suffering? It is because they waste their energy in things that doesn't concern them. They waste their energy in things that doesn't concern them. So I would like you to take decision because I'm going to round up now. I would like you to take decision and say, Lord, from today, I want to be careful about what is taking my energy. Because your energy is your life. Up to emotions. I, I don't want to cast my emotions wrongly. You see, because emotion has power. Has power to achieve certain things. So I devote it. Like I told you, I'm going to write. Don't forget, I wrote this morning. So what is on my table now is, a, is about four courses. It's going to be five by God's grace in the morning. I made two years that I was sitting down from morning till, till sitting down from morning till evening there. Came back in the night, I sat down there. And then somebody came and said, Sheba, you're so intelligent. I said, no. Attention. Perspiration, effort towards a given direction. Some people say, oh, shepherd, God has blessed you. He has given you things. I say, why not? Do you know, one of the course I wrote yesterday, I said, I wrote yesterday on seven leads to prosperity. I said, vision, rescue from wastages and losses. It's there on my table. Some people don't even know, understand the mystery of wastages. That is, you, 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 you went to supermarket you start buying things you don't need. I, I don't know how true it is. They, they say that the man that died also made a grave for his child, his children, for his son. Did you have it? Huh? Somebody went and kept a sepulchre for a boy. Some of us that are here, maybe this evening, this same evening, this Sunday evening. Because that's when you do use go to town meeting. This Sunday evening, they have arranged for you to go to one particular town hall to go and eat with soldier there with illiterates. Years back, when I came into Canada and the anointing was on me, one of my brothers, distant cousin, one of Patana, came to me and said, hey, he's calling me, he's calling me to the meeting of the Mutu people. And I don't want to hear. One day he keep on calling me that she come to that they are gathering somewhere. One day I, I, I said, and this effort you're making in getting me into the assembly of the Umuchu people is for what reason? He said, hey, hey, in case if anything happened to me. I look at him, I said, nothing will happen to me, it's you that will die. I, I told him, I said, not, I said, it is you. Satan kill people when they make arrangements to die. Don't make arrangements to die. Don't go to a town meeting because the village idiots will take you, to, will take you home when you die. Why are you planning? What, why are you planning for planning date? A young person like you. I told that my brother, I said, he said, me and you wish younger. A young, a young man like me, and that is just about 30. You're already planning about how we die. I said, you're the one that we die, and I walked away. And he has died already. He's dead now. Somebody look at a human being like you. And say, why you should come to the meeting of Newe people? It's because of when you die. So every day, every Sunday evening, once in a month, they go to the assembly of, of dead men to eat those surgery with the dead.
Don't you know what is written concerning you? If I take bread of Jesus and take it above my head and I break it before you, if that bread enter into your mouth, you will do nothing with death. I said, you will do nothing with death. Somebody say fire. Now, when, when, when Jesus, Satan didn't leave Jesus alone. I said, he didn't do what? He didn't leave him alone. And uh, look at number, number five again. Look at number five. That Matthew chapter four, five. Please quickly because I'm going to stop. Five again. He said, the devil take him up again in the holy city and set him upon a pinnacle of the temple. Number six. And then he said unto him, if thou be son of God, cast thyself down for, look at Satan. Satan have already studied Messianism. Satan now say it is written. Now if Satan know it is written and you don't know, how can you stand him? Satan said to Jesus, it is written that he shall give his angel charge concerning thee and in thy hand they shall bear you up lest thou dash, lest at any time thou shalt dash their foot against a stone. It knows your question, Satan was not accurate. Huh? He said, Jesus, he just land. They will carry you in the hand. That is, that is, it is written. Psalm 91, he went there and quoted it. And then look at Jesus' respond. Number seven. Jesus responded again with another personal, it is written. This, it is written, it's a general, it is written. But Jesus, at, at, Jesus overcame general, it is written. With a personal, it is written. Satan does not win battle over those that know personality is written. It is not everything that is written in the Bible that is for you. When Satan wants to confuse your life, he will bring general scripture. But when you want to win him, you will bring personal. It is written. Look, look at Jesus telling him. What I know about myself, and you can't confuse me, verse, verse number seven. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tend the, the Lord thy God. And Satan didn't go away. Verse number 8, Again, the third time, Satan take him up in the city, in the high mountain, and show him all the kingdom of the world, and the glory thereof. And, and, and they said unto him, All these things shall I give thee, if thou shalt fall down, and worship me. Number 10. And, and then. Then spread Jesus to him. Say get, him, get behind this Satan. For. How many times now? That is the third time. The third time. The third personal. It is written. This it is written here. Came from Jesus attention. To personal book. I said came from. Came from Jesus personal attention. To his book. All the days of your life. You are born to fulfill. What is written concerning you. When Jesus came to the earth. The Bible said he brought light. And immortality to light. Now he brought light. And the immortality is still in that book. Somebody say, Shepherd, why do you say you will not die? I said, that is what is written concerning me. I, I, I don't know whether that is what is written concerning you. I am not forcing it on you. I am not forcing it on you. But that is what is written concerning me. Because it is personal. When it comes to it is written, make it personal. The Lord told me that I'm not going to I'm not going to dwell on drugs. You know it. You know it that he, he told you that you will not live a normal life. And everybody, every other person is saying uh, maybe you need to meet a doctor. He's not talking to you. Meet a doctor to examine you is an intelligence. 
general intelligence. But as for you, it's not for you. Jesus looked at them and said, you want to kill me, but I will lay down my life. And after three days, I will take it. I will, I will take it. They look at him and say, well, who do you even call yourself? Who, who, are, what, who do you think you are? I, I, want us, I want to show us two scriptures about Jesus. Or, or three. Number one. When, when, when he said before Abraham, I am. I just said, Lelo. He said, you are not even up to 50 years. You're already talking about Abraham. Then he came back to them and said, before Abraham. I, 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 now he told, they said, I was before Abraham. So the anger, the anger increased. The anger. Now, the, because their anger increased, did Jesus deny himself? The beginning of your miracle is to build your life. According to what you know, I am my father in John chapter 10, 30. I am my father, I one. And they took stone to stone him because he has offended them. But remember that the first, the first offense, the moment that Jesus declared that Messianism in chapter 4 of the book of Luke, the Bible said the Jews fastened their eyes on him. They, 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 after reading that Messianism and handed over the book, he, he now stayed. The Bible said and they, they started looking at him there in the synagogue. Because normally, when Jesus finished reading the Bible, he would go and sit down. And then the, those who, the Sahindrians, they would start interpreting the Bible. But that day he didn't sit down. That day he didn't no, he didn't want to sit down. After reading that scripture, they were expecting to go and sit down. He didn't sit down. After handing over the book, the Bible said, their eyes was on him. And then, he looked at them and said, this scripture, here is fulfilled. They said, which scripture is fulfilled? They say, which scripture are you talking about? They look at him and say, this scripture will, fulfilled, will be fulfilled when the Messiah comes. He said, which other day is it? He said, the Messiah is already here. They say, you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Bible said this. They took him immediately. <laughs> they say, look, look, we have to end this very early. We have to end, we have to end him. This thing, we have to end it now. Before this, it will just multiply. The Bible said they took him and they, were, they took him to, you know, you know, a cliff. They took him to a very big valley. If you go to, I've gone to Jerusalem. If you go there, you will see valley, hill and valley. It's a land of hill and valley. According to Deuteronomy chapter 11. They took him to a particular hill and that the valley is very down. And what was in their mind was to throw him down from the cliff. But the Bible says why they were carrying him as they are trying to approach the cliff. Jesus came from their hand. He came from their hand. With the power of that book. He came from their hand. And the Bible says he walked through their midst and went away. Wherever enemies gather around you. That is how you will walk away through their evil. I said they are gathering is unto nothing. I said they are gathering is unto nothing. Today, what is declared about you shall be fulfilled. I say your manifestation shall be fulfilled. You will walk through the enemies in your village. You will walk through the enemies around your shop. You will walk through the enemies around your office. And nothing evil shall touch you. Somebody say fire. Say with me, oh God. Even if they gather against me. I shall walk through them and no evil shall touch me. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I provoke the oil of a Messiah upon my head. Can you pray that prayer and say, Lord, I provoke the oil of a Savior. 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 
The oil of a Messiah. I provoke the oil. Somebody, I can hear you. I provoke the oil. I provoke the oil. Lara Sodaya Rashakatalaba. Laria Mosatalaba. I provoke the oil. I provoke the ruling oil. I provoke the ruling oil. I provoke the oil of power. Sayara Shakata Laradabaya. Let the oil speak for me. Somebody go ahead. Jehovah, your oil shall speak for me. Your oil. Your oil. The oil of the book. The oil of the book. Somebody, the oil of the book. The oil of the book. Let the oil of the book. The oil of the book shall speak. Zaya Dalada Baba. The oil of the book. The oil of the book. Hey. 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 Shalara Satalara Baba. Libro Satalaba. In the name of Jesus. I'm about to give the communion. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I provoke the oil of rule from the book in the hand of the minister. Can I hear you say, I provoke? Speak out. I provoke the oil. The oil in that book. I provoke the sword in that book. I provoke the victory in that book. I provoke the dominion in that book. The book in the hand of the minister. Can I hear your prayer now? I provoke the rule. Yes. 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 Lara Santa la Yaraba. Yerada Baba Santa la Raba. Yer Grada Basanta. Zayare Kapotosan. Libre la Yashaka. In the name of Jesus. I saw a vision. Can you open your Bible like this? Can you open your Bible like this? I, I saw God do two things. Number one, I saw God. I saw God win new battles for somebody. Say with me, oh God. I call a sword. A sword of victory. Out of the pages of that book. The book in the hand of the angel. And by that sword, let every enemy against my life be demolished. Can you go ahead? Let every enemy. Let every enemy. Let every enemy. Say, oh sword. Come out of the book. Come on. Oh sword. Oh sword. Oh sword. Oh sword. Oh sword. Come out of the book. And fight for me. Destroy every enemy. Somebody I can hear you. Oh sword. Oh sword. Come out of the book. The book in the, the, the book in the hand of the minister. Oh sword of vengeance. Oh lion sword. Come out of the book. Can I hear you say it in a minute? In the name of Jesus. One more thing. Lift your offering. Lift your book this way. The Lord told me that I should declare on this altar. Quick acceleration of people's movement. Quick. Quick acceleration. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Give me speed. I take speed from this book. I take energy for quick acceleration. Can you speak it in a minute? 
Keep your book open. I saw quick acceleration. I saw quick acceleration. Somebody, your speed just increased. Your speed, your speed. Somebody, your speed. Your speed just increased. Your speed. Your speed. Your speed. Your speed. Your speed. Yes, Lord. Somebody. Your speed just increased. In the name of Jesus, this morning that we are not sinners, say with me, Lord Jesus, I am not a sinner because I am saved. I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. There is no iniquity in me. I'm about to eat you, Jesus, in form of bread. I don't believe in death. I will never die. Say, so, oh, you sword of immortality, come out of the book and destroy the enemies. Even now, in the name of Jesus, somebody say, big amen. If I say you will not die, you will say a big amen. I say you will not die. Nothing good around you shall die. You will not be sick. Everyone that is sick is healed. Whatever you lost in the time past, I command you to recover. 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 Somebody, a new door is opening to your family. In the name of Jesus. A servant spirit will go before you. Come from the body of Jesus. Make new ways for you. I can hear an amen. Make ways where there are no ways. In this special service, a new favor shall visit your life. Somebody I can hear a big amen. All this shall be fulfilled as you eat Jesus in bread. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. When I was about to break that bread, I saw somebody, they want to cause a great accident in your life. But right now from this altar, I turn that accident away. Some demons gathered and I said that somebody must fall before the end of the third month of the year. It's a prophecy of wicked people. And I want to say to wicked people, that prophecy shall not be fulfilled. Nobody shall fall in your family. Lift your hand and say with me, Lord Jesus. Nobody will fall in my family. I'm, I'm not hearing your prayer. Nobody will fall around me. There will be no disaster around my life. 
There will be no disaster around my life. There will be no disaster. Every attempt of the devil to touch your life shall be destroyed. Every attempt of the devil. Every attempt of the devil to touch somebody in your family. Every attempt of the devil to touch your life. Every attempt of the devil to touch your children. Every attempt of the devil to touch your business. Every plan to touch your life shall not prevail shall not prevail shall not prevail shall not prevail somebody you will not lose anything that is important to you you will not lose anything that is important to you not in the month of march no nobody shall fall nobody shall fall you shall not reduce Say with me, oh God, nobody shall fall in my family in the month of March. Can you lift your hand and begin to speak it? In the name of Jesus, keep your hand up towards the altar. I, I, I help a young man this week. I help you to push down your enemies. I, I help you to go to another level. Can you return amen to me? Therefore, drink Jesus in blood and go to another level. In the name of God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Come.
Precious Holy Spirit, we're in need of you. Come purify our passion. Come and make us new. We are standing here before you, God. Hey. Just the way we are. Brooding over every darkness, you are cursing life to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness. You are cursing life to shine.
Amen. Can I ask you to rise with your building offering? After the announcement, I'm going to have a very brief short, a short time of passing oil and a very brief season of prophetic. When I say something that concerns you, I would like you to do something about it. And um, I'm sensing a prophetic move in this place just now. After the announcement, I'm going to come back to it. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I soak this offering in the blood. I soak this offering in the blood. And I recover everything that my family lost. With the blood in this offering, I go to every altar that resists me. Resist me in the market. Resist me in the office. Resist me in the ancient places. Ancient places of my family. All the demons that doesn't believe in me. That doesn't believe in my encounter. Let this, let this offering become a weapon. Call your name and say, Chris, Christian will never be a poor man. I will never stay on the floor. I know my place. I know it is written concerning me. I am one of the functionable billionaire of the last age. Today is a day of my manifestation. I I dip this oil, this 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 seed into the offering of the Lord. Everything about me will change. Father, let everything about us change. Jesus, mighty name. Can you say amen and hear yourself?
Lord, can you make a joyful noise? Hallelujah. Now let's clap those hands for our shepherd. Are you celebrating our Papa? Those words, those kind of messages can only be heard from him. Put your hands together again from Shep for Shepherd of Michael. That is a privilege, sir. Hallelujah. Please, you may have your seat. It's, we really appreciate your presence. Hallelujah. And I know that God has blessed you richly. If you are, today is the first time of worshiping with us on this mountain on Sunday morning. We have a special way of celebrating you. Can you please stand on your feet? Let's welcome you very well. You if today is your first time of coming, our shepherd still runs every Sunday morning in Lagos on Inspiration FM, the channel 92.3. Time is 6.30 to 7 a.m. every Sunday morning. And also all around the country, we have various radio channels that also uh, carries and broadcast the message, our papa's message. Hallelujah. The media stand. All the books by our shepherd and all Zoe ministerial apparatuses are all available at the bookstore. There in the bookstore, we have shepherd's books. Shepherd of Mankind has written over 400 books. Are you celebrating him? In between the lines of these books are secrets that have been revealed. So it is already there. The spirits are already waiting. Papa talked about the book that was handed over to the minister. And he said that that book, you know, it, the, the, the minister that the book was handed over is him. And from him, he's handing us the book through other books. So, the shepherd has written over 400 books and he's still writing. Don't ignore any of those books. If you have none, or maybe you have few, he has 400. The bookstore, the bookshop is just by the, the gate. Immediately after the service, make well to rush there and pick as many books as possible. Also, in the bookstore, we have the CDs, the DVDs, the calendars, the t shirts the stickers, the way oil. Zoe Mantu, Zoe Bangles, and all Zoe apparatuses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are also encouraged to advertise our church programs on social media links like the Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp status, and Instagram. On this juncture, please, can we stand on our feet as we take our 2024 prophetic declaration? Let's all stand. And repeat after me, please. 2024 is a remarkable time of maximum security for all immortals. We are hidden in Christ and Christ in God. In 2024, God will launch us into a limitless dominion an incredible governance. 2024 is a special year for me. And I will enjoy special angelic assistance. In 2024, the strength of Israel will cast down all my adversaries and I will dwell in perfect peace. Whatever I lay my hands to do, shall blossom and prosper. I will be healthy and rich from March to December. If any man shall dig any pit for me, such a man will fall into it. The rock of ages is both my refuge and my fortress. And I shall not be touched by any evil. Not only that I shall not die, nothing good around me shall die. 
2024 is a glorious year for me. It is a year like no other. Can you put your hands together as you take your seat? Thank you so much. Have your seat. Please, all if the new uh, our friend, please, you will be, somebody will be meeting you immediately after the service, very, very briefly. The Zionists, the Zionists, this announcement is from the Eskis, from the president. All the Zionist Eskis are asked to wait briefly, immediately after the service. And all the youths in the house are also asked to wait briefly, immediately after the service. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you are a youth in the house, you have had the announcement, or a Zionist, make sure that you wait. I pray for the youth of immortals to be active. Just, just register that you are active. Let's see your work, what you're doing as youth. Men. That's why you have to wait. And the men too. Praise God. Good books are here. The eternal power. The secrets of eternal power. <laughs> Providing vessels for anointing. Somebody clap God. Keep records through the luminary bodies. Looking for your God in a man is in the series. And finally, the Losing the Seal volume. How to produce Losing the Seal volume 15 this month. 60 chapters. The staffs, we're going to have a, a fast tomorrow against the healing service of Tuesday. Put your hand together. So the major, the major prayer there from this night is on the healing anointing, the power, praying for the sick, open doors. And the meeting on Tuesday here is going to be by um, both for the house and online. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God now. Now the calendar is here full of anointing. Are you clapping? The sticker is the, the lapel, the scapulet, the wristband. They are all tools of war. That's why we, we can't come out without it. Something that has been paid for, don't ignore. Don't ignore. 31 years of labor speaks on it. The Lucas Army skin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So that Tuesday is a time of fire here. Can I ask you to stand? I want to say to somebody, the days of smallness has, is over now. Yeah. Stretch your hand and say with me, Lord Jesus, I end the day of struggling in my life. I welcome the Lion of Judah into my life afresh to change my destiny. Can I ask you to begin to speak it to yourself? I welcome the Lion of Judah afresh into my life to alter my destiny. To alter my destiny. Destroy my delays. Somebody delays shall be over. The hour of smallness shall be over. Valleys. Shalara to sete kaladabaras. Lendo baraya santa laraba. Libre Dalara Santa. Libre do Sandalaba. Yantolo Marasia. Santo God will come. Lambrando Kala de Debo Santa Lara. Landreta Sobarania. Somebody begin to just dip your hand in that oil. Don't close your eyes. 
dip your hand dip your hand in that oil lante sopa la cara ya da ba santa la ra baba sutelia ra antre sodolobo zinda mato prana skidere to luskada ba zino to na kabis sondo na tinaska sante ne crado lobos zaya tuto sente let everything about your life be altered let the builder of Zion change your life let every enemy around us be punished the anointing of God speak in your life somebody go ahead and begin to speak I end the hour of suffering I end the hour of death I end the hour of infirmity. If you are hearing me and there is sickness in your body, I command that sickness to go away by the word of God. In the name of Jesus. If you are hearing me and you are being subdued, I lift you up from the place of pain. I lift your life up from the place of pain. I release the fire of freedom over your life. In the name of Jesus. As many as appointed to die, there shall be no death. Somebody, I can hear you. I close every grave in the realm. I close every grave in the family. In the mighty name of Jesus. I close every arrangement of the devil and his enemies. To kill you, to hunt your life down. Wherever there is a manipulation against you. In the tree, in the waters. In the market, by shaking of hand, I destroy that manipulation by fire. In the name of Jesus, somebody who is hearing me, if they did any, if there was something they did against you from month, from the month of March, I stand up on the altar to liberate you from that influence. If anybody has prayed against you, I bring down that prayer now. If anybody made a sacrifice against you, I destroy the power of that sacrifice. By the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. If they declared poverty in your destiny, I lose you from it. Somebody, I can hear a big amen. I open up the, the gate of your life for angelic help. For angelic For angelic help. For angelic help. I release lion angels to help you. Somebody I can't hear a big amen. I say lion angels shall help you. Somebody say I take help. Say I take help. I take help. From the lion angels. I take help. Can you begin to say Lord I take help. 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 Yeah. I take help. 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 Stretch your hand. Listen. I can see it. If you have any sickness in your body that is calling for oppression, calling for oppression. Or oh, you are looking at me and a particular sickness is meant to connect to death. Or something is attacking your life from foundation. A particular sickness came from your root and is worrying your life. Any of those sicknesses, in the name of Jesus, you will say that I said it. I closed the door against them. I close door against them. 
I reverse the cancel of your enemies. Signal grow in your body. If you're looking at me and they want to make you a widow, I tear that cloth from your body. I tear it by fire. I tear that cloth from your body. I say, somebody will not die in your family. And he say, yes. Don't share the Lord to somebody. Evil will not happen to you in March. It will not happen this week. That is why you came to church. Before we shall great, the Lord asked me to say to people, there is somebody that is in this place. The Lord asked me to tell you to sow a special seed. I'm going to ask you to come out. To sow a special seed for. That's one, one group. Another group, the Lord said, ask me to tell you to sow a special seed for quick acceleration into the new. But there is somebody who is hearing me. This week is your special week. Yeah. You will know it. The moment that we, you turn and begin to go out, help will come for you. Yeah. There will be special victory. Yeah. There will be special prosperity. Yeah. There should be special deliverance. Yeah. I can't hear a big amen. And that is why goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your Zoe life. You shall dwell in your house and God's house. Now and forevermore. So blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Great of heaven and earth who through the blood of his son. From our sin from all nations, some people. Are. To him be glory and honor. World without end. Look at